Hi guys, this is Adam from Fernspace 3 e and welcome to the first in the series of video tutorials I'll be doing for the Interiocad T3 Pro range. In this tutorial will be covering a basic lounge um, which we'll create in the 2D design section. So go ahead and click on 2D design. We are now in the 2D design section of the program and we're going to be using a floor plan as the base for tracing our balls. We're going to go to the draw menu, select insert image, browse for the file, click open, and just click once to insert it. Okay, the change image scale box is going to pop up and we're going to use this to um, scale the image up to the correct size. But of course we can't actually see what's going on here because the image is so is such a low quality. So just click cancel, go to the settings menu, go down to image quality, and choose very high. Now we'll be able to see the dimensions perfectly. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is just select the, um, the image, right click on it, and choose adjust scale. Now we can choose select reference point. All we're going to be doing is tracing the dimension and then putting in the same dimension into the box. So if I just move my cursor to trace the dimension of 3310, I'm going to type in 3310 here. And now we have our image at actual size. So let me just zoom out here. There we go. Okay, so now we can begin by um, just drawing our walls, tracing the walls over here. So we're going to go to free wall and choose right as our um, in internal dimension and just start from the top um, left hand corner of this wall. So now we can just start tracing this out. And you'll see that the wall starts snapping to um, perpendicular walls on the, pro on the uh, drawing. Okay, so that's great. Now we can put in our doors and windows. So go to the door and window menu. Um, go to single door and click OK. Then just left click on the wall to place the door. And you'll see that whichever side of the door of the wall you move your cursor, the door will orientate itself to. If we want to flip the door to open in the opposite direction, just tap spacebar and click to place the door, left click. Move over into the opposite wall and just continue with the rest of the doors in the room. Okay, now we're going to put in two large balcony doors. Make this dimension four meters. Click OK and then just click to place it in the center of the wall. You'll see that uh, a red square highlights the center point of that wall. So just left click to place it. And now with the other one we can just make that 3200. Click OK and also place that on the center. Great. Okay, let's just click cancel there. The next thing we're going to do is go and put in a ceiling. So go to the ceiling menu, go search ceiling frame, click inside the room and give it a height of 3000. Okay. Next we're going to draw some um, a recessed uh, sort of bulkheads. Uh, so just uh, take the snaps off. That's great. And we're going to go to ceiling, ceiling block. And we're just going to draw two squares over each section of the room, or rectangles. And these are going to be three 200. Draw another one. And that's going to be 3200 as well. Great. Now we're going to put in our ceiling lights. As you can see there on the floor plan here. So we're going to go to ceiling, linear ceiling lights. Now what this is going to do is arrange a certain amount of lights that we set along a line that we draw. So just left click once to place the beginning of your line. And then left click again to end it. And make sure you put in the whatever, well, whatever amount of lights you want. So that's going to be five lights, so we can just click OK. Next we've got three lights running down there, so ceiling, linear ceiling lights, 
same process. It's going to be three. And then we're going to have some lights running along the bottom there. So linear ceiling lights once again. Click to start your line and left click to end the line. And that is going to be five lights. Click OK. OK, the next part of the design process is to start inserting furniture. I'm going to be working in additional library two. If you don't have this installed, then it doesn't matter. You can go and use um, models from the standard library. So in additional library two, I'm going to sofa set two. Scroll down, find a sofa, a corner sofa. Now just left click on the icon or on the little thumbnail there and drag it into the drawing. And if you move your, if you just put these snaps all back on, if you move your cursor over the wall, you'll see that the, the furniture piece orientates itself to that side of the wall. You can also rotate the piece of furniture by tapping spacebar. There you go. And a quick way to do it is just to move it over the wall, get it facing the direction you want, and then left click to place it. Next, I'm going to put in two single seaters. So I'm just going to go up to single seat and choose this one here. Don't worry about the colors of the actual furniture pieces because we can change these later when we move on to the 3D side. Now to copy this, I just right click on the furniture piece, select copy, and left click to place it. I'm going to put in a little coffee table and a side table over here. So I'm going to go down to where it says table, or up to where it says table. Let's choose a side table, something like that, and pop it over there, and then just find a coffee table. Let's pop that in over there. Okay, next we're going to move on to the dining room. So we're going to go up to the dining room menu, expand it, and click table, and just choose any table. I'm going to be using the Starkwood one. So just click and drag it into the scene. There we go. And next we're just going to choose some um, chairs. So I'll take these guys over here. Space that there. Select it. Right click. Copy. And we can just place it, another one in at the bottom. Let's pop it over there. Select it, right click, copy. Okay, it's looking good. Now we're going to put in um, some more cabinets. So just click on dining room cabinet and see what we got. Actually, I'm going to go down to living room cabinet and just take a TV cabinet, place it over there. Um, let's go find some funky sort of shelving. So here, and see what else we have here. Okay, so I'll use this as a server. I'll just place this against this wall over here. There we go. And I'm going to. This, I see there's a carpet over here. We're going to put that in inside 3D. So I think our room is basically done. Now we can go and convert it to 3D. So you can either just click on the button that says 3D mode or you can go to enter 3D and convert to 3D.